sure. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I guess one thing we should we should definitely uh, talk to you about, which has been discussed in the community pretty heavily over the last week, is like the whole Jensen versus Bjergsen debate. Uh, you just played against Bjergsen. Like, do you have a, an interpretation of like who's better, or, like who you prefer to play into out of those two players? Like, what do you think is like really the difference between them? Because yeah, we've just been hearing a lot of uh, Bjergsen apologists come out and just say that this guy is uh, you know significantly better than Jensen. So, what's your take on it? I mean, in my opinion, I think Jensen is probably the like, the only world class mid laner in the LCS. I think he kind of just he he doesn't make the same mistakes that a lot of the other mid laners make, where they they guys said earlier they pull their team to them a lot. Like Jensen doesn't require a lot of resources to pop off, and I think that's really valuable, especially in his team where. He has so many players who are actually just so smart where he will just play his lane really well. And then as soon as Cordy J has like one timer, it just he just wins the mid lane for Jensen. And Jensen just does his job every game super consistently. Also, he plays like he plays side lane really, really well. It's something that a lot of mid laners don't do. They'll force their ADCs to go side lane. And Jensen is not really that type of player. He'll just play the side lane and he'll do his job really well. And yeah, I mean, I think Jensen is better than Bjergsen. I don't know if it's an extremely huge margin, but I definitely think Jensen's the best millionaire right now. Makes sense. Got any opinion on that, Thorin? Uh, I just think that, like, because as usual, we all know people on Reddit and generally in the community. The problem is they start forming the opinion when they see the title of the content before they've even watched it. So you never know who's actually watched the content. So if people don't know, even though I also agree with DeMonte, like for many of the reasons he even says, like, I think Jensen's also probably the most self-sufficient mid laner while also being a star and a fucking carry and on the best. Like, he's got a million factors and he's got Broxer as his jungler. Like, to be fair, yeah, Jensen has his bad. Uh, but not like Bjergsen has a good jungler either, but... Like put it, it puts him yeah. above like the Niskis of the world in yeah. that scenario. So, Demonte, De like, you lucked out. Let's just say that real quick. He did. Yeah. He got a pretty nice jungle. Let's be real. Yeah. But yeah. no, like my take on it is like I, here's the thing. I personally do think in the same way as I actually also have Larson over Caps in Europe. I think like I do have a pick of for who the best is. But I don't hate it if you go with the other guy. Like if you think Caps is the best mid in Europe, I'm fine with that. If you think Bjergs is the best mid in NA, I can see reasons why you could say that. But one of the points I made in my video, the video was really more about char how people characterize Jensen. Like, when he's on top, he can't get his prime. When he wasn't the one on top, everyone just said, well, the fact you're not on top means you're not the best. So it's like, how does that work? When does Bjergsen ever get the same credit? When does the same criteria that went against Jensen ever go against Bjergsen? The answer is never, because it's TSM fans that make the rules up. So as a result, you know what? I've been told this my entire career when I've been arguing for these players. So when I've argued Froggen versus Xpeke and Jensen versus Bjergsen, I was always told, Dom, that when I say, because that's what used to be one of my arguments for Jensen and Froggen, it's like, well, look at their teammates. Like, they, they have the worst teammates. And so if they're close, if anything, you could make a case they're as good or better. Everyone would always tell me, Dom, ah, but that's another reason why Xpeke and Bjergsen are amazing. Because they're so um, such great guys and such great teammates. Yeah, they, you know, they improve and they motivate their teammates and they attract great teammates. It's like, all right, well then that logic by the same logic you now have to say it's Bjergsen's fault that his teammates are shit that's the same logic but yeah I mean the, the gist of what we were talking about there was just that there's no way for Jensen to actually ever win in, in this in this debate even if TL goes on um, to win multiple championships no one will really care um, going forward about that so um, so yeah. the way you know that's true is like look how they had to because obviously this split you'd have a hard time arguing against Jensen being a really good player right so what was the angle they took this split now they started doing mad shit like psychologically analyzing the guy like oh he's a bit bitter and salty the way he said that like what well, these are the reasons to hit on a guy now what the fuck is this because that's the problem I have Dom is like anyone who's an actual pro player in the LCS or I would consider like a, a reasonable analyst not like some hater who just only likes one person hates the other one what they'd say is Jensen versus Bjorks is an awesome rivalry in the same way as, by the way, Frog and XPK was an awesome rivalry. Like, there's different reasons you can think one's better than the other. The different ones have, yeah, one has more success than the other. But even then, it's not like they both have, it's only one has success. No, they have different levels of success. I mean, the Jensen-Bjergsen one's even better because Jensen had the more international success and Bjergsen had the more domestic success.